Hi, I'm Jeff and I am going to demonstrate how to assemble the Fancier Studio 3800 watt uh, light box system and uh, it comes with a carrying case. It has three lights. Two of the lights are larger lights that have five light bulbs apiece in each light box. The third light box is a smaller light box and it has four light bulbs in it. The uh, smaller light box is you can use it as a, uh, a boom or a over overhead light for uh, to reduce shadows. I don't have it on right now. I don't know if you could tell or not, but uh, that is the smaller light box and that is the one that I am going to be assembling. Now, uh, I am an Amazon affiliate and I'm going to leave a link below this video if you're watching on YouTube and you decide that you want to purchase this uh, kit, I would uh, appreciate you clicking on my link. Uh, of course, I've already made the video. You don't have to click on the link if you don't want to and that's fine as well. But if you do, I get a small commission that does not raise your price one bit. Uh, you would pay the same if you use my link or if you don't use it, but I'd appreciate it if you did. Thank you. Now let's get on with a demonstration on how to put these uh, light boxes together. What you're looking at are the two larger lights and each one of those uh, light boxes has five light bulbs in each one of them. Now they also have five light switches on the back and I've got four of the five lights turned off because I didn't want to point my camera at that really bright light. But you can turn on uh, one, two, three, four, or all five lights at a time. And you can see the light box on the right is configured what you would think of as maybe a portrait configuration. And the light box on the left is a landscape configuration. And we'll show you uh, you know, how to assemble these light boxes. Okay, I'm not really going to talk about the tripod too much. This is the uh, the tripod for the small light and it's got a, a boom on it. It's got another uh, pipe that sticks out this way and you can boom it. Uh, but you guys can figure that out yourself. We're just going to deal with the light portion. But you'll notice when uh, you take these tripods out, you'll see these black caps on the tops of the uh, on on the tops of the tripods here. And you don't need those. In fact, they're in a way that you have to get rid of them. And I guess you can save them if you want to store these so they don't poke holes through the uh, bag or whatever, because uh, they're a little bit sharper than the black plastic. But they're in the way to when you put your uh, lights together. When you take your light out of the box, this guy here is going to be configured like this and that's the wrong way because it would be pointing straight down. And so what you need to do is loosen this wing nut. You can make it level or whatever angle you want. Tighten your wing nut back up and you're good to go. You back this wing nut off and this is going to go down on top. Tighten the wing nut up. And that's how you get started. Now at the outset you have to know with this light kit there are two different size lights. There's a large light and a small light. This is the small light. You can tell it's a small one because it's got four light bulbs. The bigger lights have five light bulbs and there's another light bulb that goes in the middle. You'll also notice that there are two different size sticks. There's the shorter sticks and the longer sticks. So the shorter sticks go with the four lights. The longer sticks go with the light heads that have five lights. 
Another thing you want to notice about these sticks is they have two ends on them. You'll see the one stick has a little edge, a little lip on, on the, the, the edge there, and the other side is completely smooth. What you want to do is put the side with the edge on it inside the light head, and the smooth sides go, they hold the corners of your light box out. The correct angle is to have these sticks 45 degrees to the floor. Okay, we're just going to start off with one stick to begin putting this light box together. The first thing you'll notice is this has Velcro. You want all the Velcro loosened. Okay, and it'll try to tighten itself back up. But here's the Here's the portrait con or the landscape configuration. Here's the portrait configuration. We're going to put it on landscape. Okay. What we're going to end up doing is uh, putting this smooth side of the stick into these little corners and you're going to find that's the hardest thing to do when these light kits are new because these are so tight they don't have any give to them and it's just hard to get that stick in that pocket, the end of that stick in that pocket, but that's what we're going to be shooting for. So we have our first stick in place. Now you can see this Velcro tightened up on me, so I'm going to loosen it up again. We want to keep the Velcro loose. That makes it the easiest to work with. I'm going to make sure I put the correct side of the stick into the light head. So far so good, right? The first two are easy. The third one gets a little more difficult. I want to make sure the Velcro is loose. Make sure we get the correct side of the stick going in to the light head. Got the corner in. Now the, f the fourth corner is the hardest. I'm going to put the correct side of the stick into the light head. Let me get around back behind it. Okay. The fourth one is definitely the hardest. That looks better. Now, this is kind of what was making it hard for me to do that. It fell back together again. The Velcro stuck. Okay, that's better. Now that's nice and tight. And we're going to Velcro the back of it together. I'm not going to do this, but obviously you would put the four light bulbs in now. I'm going to skip that step. You don't need any help with that. Then the next thing you're going to see is there's an interior diffuser, interior light diffuser, and an exterior light diffuser. There are little Velcro, white Velcro tabs here. 
and you can use either the interior diffuser only, the exterior diffuser only, neither diffuser only, or both diffusers. I'm going to put both diffusers on here so you can see how they go. That's the interior diffuser. These are elastic, so they stretch a little bit. And here's the exterior diffuser. There's Velcro tabs here and corresponding tabs on the light box. So get this over the corners. Before you Velcro that on there, make sure that your corners fit. I like stretching them out, and that way you can't see it from the camera angle, but you don't have any big gaps here. That keeps the light from escaping. Same on the bottom. Stretch everything out. Same thing on the sides. Stretch it out. Finally. Stretch that out, and there you have it. Finally, I wanted to talk to you about this sandbag that comes with this uh, storage kit. This is a pretty cheap sandbag, but um, what this is designed to do, it has another piece that goes with it, and this goes on. This goes on that boom. And you would put it down on the bottom of the boom and hang the sandbag on it, and that's a counterbalance. Now, sandbag is a little bit of a misnomer. Uh, this, I said this is cheap, but actually this is a uh, this is a uh, eighty dollars sandbag. I have four row, rolls of quarters on each side of it, so that's eight rolls of quarters, that's eighty dollars worth of quarters. So if you use pennies, you could get, you know, five dollars worth of rolled pennies and put two dollars and fifty cents, five rolls in each side, and that would give you a nice counter counterbalance weight. Now this only comes with one sandbag and I would recommend really getting some extra sandbags and just hanging one sandbag over the you know the legs because these these light boxes are pretty light and uh, they do the tripod has a nice wide footprint so it can be pretty stable but if you don't have the feet the tripod feet spread out real wide and they're just a little shorter if you were to hang this sandbag off of the bottom of the tripod somewhere, you would give a lot more stability to this, but it does come with, with one sandbag, and that's what it's really for, is the boom, the boom mast. And if you were using the boom, this light head would be on the top of the boom. Okay, so that'd be going way out here in front, and the sandbag would be on the back of the boom to keep the light from tipping over.